Welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. Pluralock just came out with uh, fantastic news. Knocked down a $6 million contract uh, over the next five years. Impressive enough, but put this in the portfolio of contracts, multi-million dollar contracts that Pluralock has been able to string together over multiple years. Uh, remember, this company hasn't been around that long, but the... Uh, through acquisitions and leveraging their network of customer base, Pluralock is making waves in the cybersecurity industry, and it is enough for me to report out to you guys and encourage you to take note of their progress, and it is impressive to say the least. Their ability to drive top-end revenue right now um, is, is, is only being uh, somewhat upped by their uh, pursuance of their um, critical services business, which is their high margin element of their business. Very impressive. It's going to be incredible to watch Pluralock and 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 watch them for the next coming quarters to see um, what they can turn out in that margin expansion and the expansion of their critical services business. And I expect great things from them in their ability to uh, win multi-million dollar contracts across their customer base, which has just been uh, nothing shy of impressive. For would-be patrons to my message and those that are making their way to the Pluralock story for the first time, I would ask that you judge this company based on what they're doing now and where they are going into the future, which inevitably is um, the way that you should approach investing in all of aspects, not just with Pluralock. It does not matter where a company has been. It only matters where it is going. And when you look at this opportunity and you look at the current market cap of the company and what they're driving on the top line on, on revenue and what I expect to materialize over the coming quarters in the short term and years over the longer term, I, I, I think that uh, any uh, intelligent investor can look at this and and really find the deep value that is existing right now now i want to bring some attention to the disconnect between the good news that i report out on and the frustration behind the lack of acknowledgement within the microcap space and the stock itself uh, and i understand that and that is the way this market moves, okay? Markets are not perfect. As a matter of fact, they are imperfect. And the imperfection that is creating the deep discount and an even deeper discount with every new contract the Pluralock knocks down uh, only provides that much more of a glaring opportunity for would-be investors to take a position in this company um, while, while you have the opportunity because I'm of the belief that good companies eventually do win out. And I'm of the belief that good companies, while it may be delayed in certain capacities, will absolutely play out in time and actually reward share owners uh, for taking that ride with them and acknowledging the value at the time when it was uh, it was worth acknowledging. This is a deep value company right now providing services in the cybersecurity industry. And I, I think you need to take a look for the now uh, and for the future in Pluralock. Guys, let's kick in here and we'll take a look at the latest press release from Pluralock. Here's the press release. Uh, we're a couple days old, so it's hot off the press. Pluralock announces US 6.16 million total contract value with the US Treasury. And this speaks to Pluralock's ability to knock down big contracts with the who's who in not only government space, but also their commercial partners. This is impressive. Um, I do not share this information lightly with you. Um, the fact that um, the uh, receipt of this news, which should have been to the positive, um, fell on somewhat of a, of, a, of a deaf ear and was not uh, a catalyst at all. I think this is going to be a huge mistake for realizing that Pluralock is here to stay and their ability to knock down contracts like this is uh, perhaps maybe uh, an indication of what to expect out of these guys into the future uh, with regard to the services that they provide um, and the relationships that they have been able to build with their customers. So let's get into this press release here. 
Polarlock Security Inc., a global cybersecurity uh, services and solutions provider, announces the signing of a $6.16 million contract, a uh, five-year contract with the U.S. Department of the Treasury. So a couple things there. If customers are willing to make that large of a commitment for that long of a time frame, would you expect that there's some level of value below the surface in entering into a contract like this? So my hat goes off to the team here uh, in in uh, bringing this contract in-house for, for Pluralock. I continue the contract, which includes a U.S. 1.07 million base first year and four subsequent option years through Q4 of 2028 is for the provision of Microsoft Unified Services and support to the department, including AI Azure Services and Support. The contract was awarded through Aurora Systems Consulting subsidiary. And I have some comments here from the CEO, Ian. There is uh, an increasing threat against computer systems throughout the world, and Pluralox strives to improve the security status of public and private organizations, end quote, says Pluralox CEO, Ian Patterson. Our operations through Aurora are key to obtaining and expanding our relationships within these organizations, especially with large government customers who have historically been stable buyers of IT throughout all economic environments. So Ian disclosed a lot there um, without saying a whole lot in this press release, guys. I really think you need to read be uh, between the lines with this company. Um, very little um, here that speaks to hype uh, and a whole lot in this press release that speaks to Pluralock's ability to knock down contracts. Um, I, I think it is worth investors' uh, opportunity to at least take a second look at this company. Take a look at the multitude, not just this one. This is the newest one here, guys. And I will continue to report out um, on them knocking down these contracts because this is big news. This is a company that um, not only is uh, proven out in their ability to win these contracts, but they are transitioning uh, to the critical services business, but also um, continuing uh, to bring in some fantastic contracts uh, as indicated in this latest press release. And we'll continue to share this and convey this. I will leave a link in the description below as well as the comments so you can take a review over this at your leisure. Um, a couple days old here on the press release, but uh, 6.16 million total Great job to the team at Pluralock knocking down their latest contract. Guys, we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys. So we've come out of the uh, press release here. I hope you appreciate the timeliness of this. We want to press this information out to you guys as it crosses my desk. It's only a couple of days old. These multi-million dollar contracts are impressive. If you look at the 2023 summary uh, of financials for Pluralock, you can see a, a, a long listing of client base uh, across the corporate industry as well as government entities alike, and uh, they are uh, nothing shy of impressive. They are driving phenomenal top-line growth here, and I can continue to expect that out of Pluralock for the coming quarters. We will be reporting out on them. Um, as they're able to win new business, we will able be able to report out on that. Um, as well as the improvement and the um, the emboldening of their critical services business as well, which is uh, the high margin element of their business. Guys, if you appreciate the content coming through the channel, I'd encourage you and invite you to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave your comments at the bottom of the video if you have any questions about this content uh, on Pluralock. And thank you so much for tuning in for the entire message and good luck in your investment future.